Hey what's up everyone, for today's video, I will be reviewing the product I unboxed in my last video, the HyperX Quadcast S, a USB RGB streaming mic. This mic is probably one of the best looking microphones in the market because of its RGB lighting. It's also one of the best sounding and one of the pricey ones as well. You can buy this mic for 8,300 pesos. Most YouTubers and streamers hide their microphones from the camera, but with this mic, you probably wouldn't even want to hide it from the camera. For the build quality, it has an all black matte finish and honeycomb mesh with that classic RGB lighting. You can also customize the lighting to any color you want. Although the body is made of metal, the mic's not too heavy to carry. Inside the honeycomb mesh is a built-in pop filter to reduce the plosives whenever words with the P, T, K sound are said. The mic also has a built-in shock mount which isn't usually found in regular mics and you'll have to buy it separately. To power the mic, you will find a USB-C port at the back and a 3.5mm jack found on top of the USB-C port for phones, cameras, and sound cards or whatever you will use to do your recording. A four-way dial polar pattern is also found here and has four, as the name suggests, polar patterns. Stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, and bidirectional. The stereo pattern collects sound from the left and right sides. This is usually the pattern great with ASMR. The omnidirectional pattern collects sound from all directions, hence the omni prefix, and is usually great for recording group meetings. The cardioid pattern is great with voiceovers, live streaming, and recording. Sound in this pattern comes from one direction only, the front. The bidirectional pattern collects sound from the front and back and is good for face-to-face -face interviews. One of the unique and super convenient features of this mic is the tap to mute feature because the top of the mic is actually a mute button. You only have to tap the top of the mic and the mic will be completely muted. When you mute it, the lights on the mic turns off and turns on when you unmute it. You only have to be careful of accidental taps because the mute button is very accessible and sensitive. Sometimes, you don't even have to touch the mute button for it to work. You don't want to mess up your stream or your recording by accidentally tapping the mute button. To adjust gain, turn the gain dial found just at the bottom of the mic. The amount of gain is represented by 5 dots that increase in size at each level. Although the knob does not stop turning within the 5 dots, it is recommended to keep it within the dots. I keep it in the second smallest dot as I found it to be the right amount for my preference. You also need to be careful because it's also easy to brush through and mess with the gain of your audio recording. I guess it's safe to say that the mic cancels just the right amount of noise, not to the point that a person's voice sounds robotic. For preference, this mic is what I use to record the audio for this video, so you can be the judge of that. Just make sure you watch the video, like, comment, and subscribe. To control the mic's RGB lights, all you need to do is download the Ingenuity app. Here, you can control the colors of the mic and the audio it produces according to your preferences. This mic is geared towards streamers and gamers because of its flashy lights and the fact that it's made by HyperX, a gaming company. You don't really have to buy a mic as expensive as this if you're only looking for a mic that produces good quality sound. There are other more affordable mics that can produce just as good sound without the lighting effects this mic has. 
The only difference with this mic is its slight improvement in sound quality, its RGB lighting, and its increased price range. But the mic sounds just as good, if not better, with other microphones in its price range. The RGB lighting is just an added bonus, so you won't just be buying this microphone for its looks, but for the sound quality as well. So if you want that RGB lighting for your streams, YouTube videos, or you just want to flex it in your Zoom meetings with your office mates or classmates, this is certainly the mic for that. That's it for me and the HyperX Quadcast S. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video.